thick foliage was extensive shelter for the forest floor, allowing the trails to stay cool well into the morning. The sun gradually rose, casting the higher layers of leaves in brightening hues of green, while much of the ground remained in shadows. A little hut signaled an occasion for a brief rest, and unexpectedly also provided an ethereal view of the distant city. So I'm already sweating a bunch. It's not hot per se, it's just that it's kind of, you know, there's no, there's no breeze and it's very humid. So it doesn't feel too bad, but I'm starting to get sticky. This part of the trail that I'm hiking is called the Cave Path, and I soon discovered why. Upon the face of the hill, just off the path, were two gated up caves. It turns out that these caves were once used as storage spaces by Japanese soldiers during World War II. Talk about an unexpected bit of history. Then, an uphill track towards rejoining the main path. talk about making an impression. Thankfully, the rest of the path was decidedly quieter. Chancing upon another side path supposedly leading to a view of a quarry, I decided to detour and explore it. Unexpectedly, the path ended in front of a gated facility.
After admiring the scene, I headed back to the main path. It was time to hit the summit. Two paths become available in the final ascent, a straight set of stairs or a winding slope. I decided on the stairs for the climb. A densely populated island nation with no mountains, Singapore is nonetheless home to pockets of lush primary rainforests. These are carefully protected and conserved as nature reserves, with hiking trails running through them. Instead of the highly trafficked main path, I decided to veer into a longer, narrower side trail and was soon swallowed by the forest. And before I knew it, I had arrived. It may be the highest point in Singapore, but at 160 meters, it really isn't anything to write home about. There was no panorama, no view, only a simple marker and a summit hut. Bukit Timah really is about the journey. Before it gets hotter, Turning via the main path, it was a leisurely downhill stroll. In no time at all, I found myself back at the entrance. But there was still one final detour in the plan. 